So you talked about your mom, Linda Mukwena, who who's works in the, in finance. Um, take us to the dinner table when you're a young young boy, maybe 11, 12. Uh, what were meals like, and and what did you guys talk about? Uh, quite a few kids around you, the youngest. Oh yeah, no, no. But my mother loves cooking. She's she's still a very good cook. Yes. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. She's still a very good cook. Uh, no, we, we wouldn't. We we like to. No, now only do we really have very, very uh, good and intense uh, sessions, uh, where sometimes we 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 even gossip about uh, current affairs and all yes. these things. But but it's nice, you know. I've got a I've got a very uh, good, intense, very honest relationship with her. She's she's the queen of my heart and um, someone that's very close to me. So. And she's done a lot because she raised me as a single parent. Right. Uh, she she sacrificed a lot, and a lot of the the life principles that I I carry are life principles that uh, she demonstrated while I was a kid. And watching her waking up every single morning to go to work, uh, to to make sure that we, as a family, could be could be able to to have the needs met. It. You know, she's she's a very hard worker, very honest human being. And, yes. And uh, and extremely diligent, and those were a lot of the things. Not through the conversations, uh, more than anything, but through her actions, she taught me a lot. And uh, and it's someone I'm extremely grateful to 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 call my mother. Yeah. So, R- Rulani, uh, your your choice of food. Um, I wish we were a restaurant and we could serve you a plate. See, <laughs> seafood. I uh, 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 when when. You've got delicious seafood in front of you. Is that because you've made it yourself, or does uh, do you, do you track it down in favorite restaurants? Oh no, no favorite restaurants. Uh, I like, I like, but I also I also took that uh, cooking skill from my mother. My mother loves cooking, as I said earlier. Yes, so, yes. Uh, I also grew up with my grand, so those were the people that used to always be in the kitchen and cooking, and I'd always look and say and. And then when I when I moved out and lived on my own, I, I was forced to 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 practice, you know, the skill and and get better at. So I, I'm a big seafood person, but I but I also love uh, oxtail, for an example, and mashed potato. But yeah, you give me uh, smoked salmon every any time, and uh, or you give me sushi, or you give me um, uh, fish with chips, maybe and slap chips. Yes. that's that's for. Anytime, anytime uh, is tea time. We, we'll talk about your book choice in a moment, uh, Rulani. Your choice for now, but growing up, Cliffview Primary School, Rand Park High School. What what books were you reading as a kid? Were were, were you were you avidly in the library? No, not not at all. I was. Uh, I think I think I was extremely obsessed by football in my primary and high school days. Yes. Uh, and I remember going into the library and trying to check. Uh, these training books and these uh, uh, trying to find uh, training exercises and and finding books that would uh, help me learn and grow as a coach. But I remember the one, the first real book that I I read from start to finish. Okay, apart from from the Bible because I've read the Bible also from start to finish as a right. youngster. I remember um, when I was I was going to what we would call the home cell in Orlando West. I remember. Uh, one of my biggest projects that I had given to myself was to read the Bible from from Genesis to Genesis, you know. So, so I, I, I apart from that, probably the the number one book that changed me and got me into reading was Jose Mourinho's book called uh, A Champion Made in Portugal. And at that time, he was he was actually uh, winning things and coming from Porto to Chelsea. Right. And uh, I re- I read his autobiography, and 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 that was the first book that actually I think. Uh, got me hooked into reading before I then started reading uh, other books. So you, you've given us a choice of books. I'm just going to pick one, but if I if I were to give them yeah. a broad label, they're about uh, improving yourself. And I want to focus in on the one of, of Tim Grover, Relentless, From Good to Great to Unstoppable. And the reason I pick it is because not only does he write about these things, but, but he's an active practitioner working with elite ar- athletes, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne mm-hmm. Wade, Charles Barkley, and so mm-hmm. on. What, t- tell us about this book, and do do you read those for specific information or for more broad inspiration? Well, it depends because a lot of the books I read is also about self development and just trying to invest in myself and, yeah. and trying to 
and trying to empower myself and and even to create and adopt certain habits that uh, you get to learn about with regards to what makes uh, many of these great people successful. You know, yeah, they yeah. always say that success success has the same clues. Uh, whether you are, it's success in relation to politics or, or sports or business or, or or any form of entertainment, but you find uh, that the, the most successful people carry on with the same mundane tasks and have right. very similar day-to-day uh, habits, you know. And, and and I read these books to try to to find out what makes uh, the greats great and what makes them successful and. And I, I I look to adopt them, and even from 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 um, relentless from Tim Grover, one of the most important things is just understanding what makes cleaners cleaners. You know his definition of 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 the diff, uh, the three different types of of sportsmen, coolers, uh, closers, and cleaners, and 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 what makes these cleaners like uh, your LeBron James, your Michael Jordan, right. your Leonardo, the very best, your, eh? Pep, your Pep Guardiola. That's what makes them. Uh, who they are because they've got this relentless drive for for excellence and perfection. So, Rulani, let, let's talk music a little bit. Um, we're going to play your choice uh, uh, shortly, but was music part of your school life in the choir, uh, in the dance group, or were you just too busy with football? No, no. Uh, in primary school, we, we had mandatory uh, uh, music lessons. Right. And I still remember the teacher was Miss, Miss Elliot. And uh, I used to enjoy it, to be honest. My my aunts were also big, big, big music lovers. Uh, uh, Antoinette, I would always walk with her along the street, and she used to love singing. And then, then you get involved in football, and, and you know you've got those football songs and the war cries that you get involved in. So, no, I wasn't necessarily in the, in the choir and, and actively involved yes. in music, but uh, it, you, it it's always been something that... Uh, is my my escape tool, you know, whether in the shower or any yes. hours of the morning when I wake up. One of the first things that I listen to is, is, is my music. Well, we're going to play your favorite choice, and it's appropriately titled uh, Rulani Mokwena, The Best Man I Can Be. I think people will say over a couple of seasons, you've certainly been that. But if we take your book as well, that, in your view, is just the beginning. Rulani Mokwena, Sundowns coach, joining us on a song, a book, and a dish. And we'll play out with his choice. This is by Genuine RL, Tyrese and Case, The Best Man I Can Be. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.